Okay. Now we'll start configuring App Volumes Manager. So go get started. License information, it's an evaluation license, so absolutely fine with it. In this step, we need to configure Active Directory. It's asking for Active Directory domain name, in my case, it's igsense.com. Here, I need to specify IP address of domain controller, or it could be FQDN. I'll go for IP address. You can go for, if you have multiple domain controllers, you can go for this format, but I'll be the com. LDAP base string. It could be if I want to use the entire active directory, or I would like to start search from a particular OU. I can specify, for example, corp domain company ID sense. Username, I will say administrator. You need you can specify another username, of course. That's better uh, because just need a read only access, but it's a lab environment. And I'm specifying this administrator account. And I will say it's creating a connection with Active Directory. All good. On port 389, which is the default port for Alda. Next. Now, here you need to specify an administrator. Someone who can administer app volumes environment. So I would like to use a group administrators or domain admins yeah I would like to use domain admins group and okay if I just write a user. I think. Ah, see, only the groups I can specify, not individual users. So it's fine. Do it admins is fine, or I can choose administrators. It's the same thing. Because you know, domain admins is inside administrators. So that's all fine. So basically, in this screen, you specify a group where Active Directory group, which will be responsible for administering App Volumes Manager. Now, here we will specify connection with vCenter. Okay, what's the idea to supply vCenter? That's a good question. Sense.com. So if I just ping, ping, I think it will two and zero. It's the IP address for my recent Just to confirm. Two one zero. Okay. One nineteen six eight. One two one zero. User's name here. Need to specify a managed service account and the one has the permission for you know to interact and manage and with we sent up to creating all those VMDKs and all uploading those VMDK and creating those VMDK templates. I would like to use but it's a default you know single sign on to me 
but you can use something else if you like, and you should. You should not use the administrator. Mount local. I would like to mount local copies of volumes, if present, of course. If they are already, it will check the VM data is stored if there is a local copy of those volumes, and if those app volumes, app stack copies are there in the local data store of VMs if you like to mount from there or mount from host. This is a good option. It basically decreases the burden of vCenter so it can, what it does if you select this checkbox, it try to connect or establish connection directly with the ESXi host. So it decreases the burden on vCenter. Here I can specify the username and password. Here I'm specifying vCenter anyway, but it's nothing wrong. But don't forget, if you're specifying the username and password, make sure it's the same on every ESXi host. Because there is no option here to, if let's say you have 10 hosts, so you can specify 10 different usernames and passwords for each ESXi host. Or you do, can just simply disable this option and just go through vCenter. It's testing connection. Oops, sorry, yeah, no. Okay, it's SSL certificate, which is fine. This method is ex, uh, expected. Got self signed certificate. And machine manager is all there. Recenter. Next. Default storage location. I would like to use the data store one because unfortunately this is the only data store I have. And these are the paths that it will be creating. Uh, cloud volume slash apps. And default storage location the same in my case and this will be the path for writable volumes. App stack which are readable containers will be under cloud volume slash apps and these are the template thing and writable volumes will be cloud volume slash writable writable thing. And that's what it explains here. Next import immediately so what it will do, it will import those templates VMDK and upload to ESXi host. Of course, if I have multiple ESXi hosts, like a cluster, then I should select a volume which is shared one. It will take like take a while, like five to ten minutes, as it says. Okay. Upload prepackaged volumes, and here it's asking for the password of root. And those prepackaged volumes are those templates, VMDK files that it needs to upload. Upload three prepackaged volumes, data store one, yes. And this is a summary of what we wanted to do. Say next. So app volumes is configured. We have a specified Active Directory. We specify app volumes administrators. We have a specified vCenter infrastructure details. And that's pretty much it. So this is it and in next step what we'll do we will install oh sorry we will uh, provision app stack uh, sorry we will provision app app stack yeah we will provision <laughs> sorry we will provision app stack okay see you out there